All right, so as you guys can tell for the title of this video, it is going to be every single God Bloodline ranked from worst to best. Now, I'm going to be doing this one a little bit differently. It's going to be all the God specs ranked from worst to best and not just all the Gokus like I originally do. Usually on the God Bloodline list, I only ever do the Gokus, but in this one, I'm going to be doing every God spec ranked from worst to best. So if you guys enjoyed this video, red like subscribe right to the video, guys. All right, so the Bloodline coming in 13th place, which is actually last place on this list, is going to be Variety Mud, guys. Obviously, Variety Mud is not a very good Bloodline in this game. It's by far the worst God spec in the game. I mean, like there's not really much to be expected here i mean like it's the god spec of mud it honestly is okay for team fights like 1v1s it is just absolutely abysmal and even for team fights there's always better things to use v mud is oh has always been always will be probably bad unfortunately but i mean at least you could do like diarrhea floors on the ground and trip people with your your poop i mean i guess that there is that to it if you guys uh, you know think that's pretty cool maybe you should pick up some v mud all right so coming in 12th place is actually going to be the god spec of crystal is of course going to be emerald now emerald is going to become a 12th place this should be for very obvious reasons it's kind of just a pve based one but people do actually use it for pvp uh it does more damage yeah obviously guys he walked through it so it did a lot of damage normally it doesn't do that much and then the third ability is kind of the same way as the second one there's not really much to say about it i mean you know it's good for pve content but for pvp content it's really not that great coming in 11th place is going to be odin sabaru now odin sabaru is a very solid 11th place bloodline honestly all that odin sabaru has going for is the second ability in the mode the second ability is a block you know it's a it's a block break teleporting ability allows you to start combos and then obviously the mode has a stun attached to it that hits multiple times and then the actual weapon spec if you, you have to be aiming your cursor on someone for it to work if you're aiming your cursor on someone it actually will bypass block now the first and third ability are honestly borderline useless i mean like they're just terrible iframe abilities first one is honestly just a much worse area hockey joke guy second if not the exact same as it and then yeah like i said the only thing otis ever really has going for it is obviously the second ability in the mode hence why it's going to be in 11th place now coming to 10th place it's going to be ashes storm now ashes storm did receive a rework it was uh, you know kind of recently uh, uh, the C-Spec now does tons of damage when it actually hits people, but, you know, hitting the C-Spec on someone is kind of hard to hit sometimes, so it makes sense of why it does so much damage. The old C-Spec is the new weapon spec. The M1s are buffed now, and I do actually think that, you know, this bloodline in general really is not that great when you actually consider a bunch of the things. Like, the first move has a very, very, very small range in general. The second move isn't changed at all, so it's still insanely hard to hit on people. And then the third move is it's like a dash ability, but, you know, you're locked into it. So if you use this and someone uses a counter, you're kind of done for, so kind of the only thing that is worth using from Ashes Storm is honestly the first ability, and it is very, very, very range locked. Look over the ninth place, it's going to be Ryuji Kenichi. Now, I do think Ryuji Kenichi is a very okay bloodline in general, but it definitely has its faults. I mean, like, the bloodline itself has, you know, pretty good combo extending potential, especially if you start combining the Taijutsu moves into it. Now, please be aware that the, these moves have very, very tiny hitboxes, so they can be hard to use, especially the first ability. Uh, but I mean, like, Ryuji Kenichi in general is definitely far from being the worst bloodline in the game, but it definitely is not even close to being at its peak i mean like it obviously guys it has instant combo extending abilities but they're very hard to either extend with or they're just borderline, you know, unusable in the current RPG PvP. And the only thing Ryuji really has going for is the second life, which was also pretty nerfed. Now, I do think this is for the best of the game because Ryuji Kenichi back when it was actually good was absolutely cancerous. Probably one of the most cancerous bloodlines to date, just because the second life was just so unfun to fight against. But Ryuji nowadays is a solid ninth place on this list. Have you remembered to hit the like button on this video yet? If you haven't done that, you should do that now. And the coming in eighth place is going to be Ryan Gaiden, one of my personal favorite bloodlines in the game. Now, even though it is one of my favorites i'm not you know just going to disguise from the fact that this bloodline really is not the greatest i mean when you look at it it's kind of like a it's supposed to be a god spec of ryan ren but it's not it, it's honestly just worse in almost every single way the iframes are worse the abilities are harder to use into combos. The actual mode, I think the mode is probably the best thing of Ryan Gaiden. It looks absolutely sick. But the actual abilities of Ryan Gaiden, the iframes aren't really there. Uh, or they're just straight up hard to, you know, integrate into move sets. Or they they nerfed them, so now they're even worse than what they were before. So, I mean, like, Ryan Gaiden, it, it's a perfect definition of a bloodline that looks really cool, is really fun to use, but is really, 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 really easy to counter. But, you know, you can make it work with some of the abilities, which is why it's going to be in 8th place. Now, coming to 7th place, it's going to be Doom Shadow. Now, there's there's not really much to say about Doom Shadow. Honestly, it's just the exact same thing as Vengeance. It's a really easy to use combo extending bloodline that has, you know, okay mode. The mode, it just, it does a lot of damage if you land the C-Spec, but the C-Spec can be hard to land sometimes. And obviously, guys, the first and second booty are honestly, you know, pretty okay combo extending abilities. I still think that this would be much better as an EKG. I feel like the abilities are very Taijutsu based. Like, they just look like Taijutsu abilities, and the Taijutsu based bloodlines are EKGs. So I think this bloodline would be significantly better on the EKG slots, but as it is now, it's a very new friendly combo 
extending bloodline that you could just throw into your kit if you needed a good combo extender now coming to sixth place is going to be alfiro by shizzit and this one's for pretty much honest i'm gonna be honest with you guys it's for a very very simple reason this third booty is insanely good right now in this meta because it's uncounterable so you can pretty much start or extend combos without any consequences now the other booties if alfiro by shizzit are okay as well you know you can't use it to extend or store combos you know pretty good stuns attached to it but the mode drains so much mode that i just i cannot recommend using this mode at all until this mode drain gets fixed you guys should just stay away from this mode only use afro magician for the actual abilities mostly the third move now coming to fifth place it actually could be shiro glacier now shiro glacier is honestly a very solid fifth place on this bloodline i mean on this yeah on this tier list uh the m1's no longer knocked back the actual weapon spec is still an iframe ability it's a lot honestly the weapon spec of shiro glacier it's kind of like strange's weapon spec but you can't actually attack during it that's the best thing to compare to the actual booty to shiro glacier are also very okay as well they do you know lots of damage i mean like shiro glacier dragons if you manage to land it can do a lot of damage as well third ability is a stun on the stun global cooldown and it also does a lot of damage shiro glacier is one of those uh you know low-key kind of good bloodlines that people generally don't use because the abilities are just they're hard to integrate into your move set but i do think shiro glacier has you know a very fun move set attached to it and honestly if you can get good at using shiro glacier you're definitely gonna have a lot of fun within the game itself but you know that doesn't subtract from the fact that the abilities as i said before are hard to actually integrate into combos now coming to fourth place it could be ray karata which is actually the god version of karata this is the newest god bloodline in the game right now so obviously guys with ray karate you do have buffed m1s the third ability is a is a dash ability it's i, I the, the third ability is literally just vengeance first but you have a little booty slam at the end of it that's kind of the best way to describe it the m1s are buffed as you guys can see the first ability is a block break ability honestly really really like the, the first ability uh it needs more iframes attached to it but i do actually really really like that ability in general i think it's very fun to use it's a pretty good block breaker if it had iframes now the second booty ray karate is kind of a, a very short hand side aoe of stun ability around you it's pretty good for team fights but that's kind of all it's good for and then the actual mode is it's a very damage based mode but i would recommend just straight up staying away from this mode it's really not that great the abilities you know not great combo extenders and honestly the damage is lackluster when compared to some of the other you know, modes in the game but definitely i really really like ray karate's abilities i think the, the abilities are very easy to integrate into combos very fun abilities to use overall so it's a very solid fourth place so coming to third place is going to be the new reworked minikaze now a lot of people think this bloodline is absolutely busted it is very very good now but i'm going to explain to you guys why it isn't probably as good as you guys think now first of all the first ability is actually a combo extending ability if you click on someone you could just boom use q it's a you know play slot ability honestly don't really think it's that great people got really mad that i didn't show it in the showcase i didn't really feel like it was kind of worth it honestly just a borderline not very good ability i mean like there are just much better combo <laughs> extenders in the game you could use it if you want to i mean it's just a combo extending ability now the second ability isn't as good as it seems there is a tiny gap in the middle of it it's actually randomly based i would say about 50 percent of the time it lands 50 percent of the time it doesn't there will be a gap in it half the time and in that gap they can either use a counter or an iframe and anything that has an iframe attached to it will be able to escape the ability and then you'll get pummeled afterwards because this ability does have a tiny bit of end lag attached to it so you will be actually get attacked during it but the ability itself when it actually works it doesn't have a gap on it gap in it is genuinely the best you know initiating ability in the game but when it does when it does have the gap in it it's just kind of you know mid-tier so it depends it's very very luck based ability but it is very very good when it works so that's something to say about it now obviously guys minikaze third it has always been and always will be good it's just a large damage you know combo extending ability one of the best combo extenders in the game right now and then uh, you know minikaze second mode um you know the, obviously guys the c spec is just a basic third it's a, it's kind of like the third ability but a little bit worse in my opinion the the weapon spec is kind of hard to integrate into your combos and stuff like that since it is actually the first form c spec but as a q spec so that's something to you know say about it it is a little bit faster now as well but i do think it's kind of hard to land on people unless you're actually just using it in combos and then the throwable of the baron mode is honestly you know it is very predictable it's very you know un it's not very stable as an ability it will vary from using it time to time but it is a block breaker so i do think minikaze is definitely third place on this list but if the second move had no gap and it, it would be easy first place on this list there would it wouldn't even be contention but since there's that gap there and it's now minikaze you know borderline best ability yeah there's not really much to say else to say about it now coming to second place is going to be shindai ren goku the god version of shindai akuma now obviously guys i'm using shindai ramen here the the one of the most funny skins of the game i mean like who doesn't like having a giant ramen noodle clone now obviously guys with shindai ren all that's really good of it is the is the clones for pve content and the actual mode the mode is absolutely amazing i mean like you have a free combo extending ability you have an absolutely massive you know m1s that i'm pretty sure it is the highest raised block in the entire game 
So you could avoid pretty much any attack by just pressing right mouse button. And then you could like jump away and use abilities to fly away, stuff like that. The other abilities, you know, it has a block breaker, has a damage ability in the first one. But the only thing people use from this is honestly the mode, the mode M ones, the throwable in the third ability. Now, this is going to be the PVE only tier. Now, obviously, guys, the PVE only tier, uh, it's going to be Xeno Dokai, the god version of Dokai. Now, this one should be for very obvious reasons. Xeno Dokai is absolutely terrible for PvP content, literally worthless for PvP, but it does tons of damage to bosses. I mean, there's not really much else to say about it. It's definitely a PvE only bloodline. But other guys, what do you think is the next bloodline that deserves a god spec? Or what is the next bloodline that you guys want to have a god spec in this game? For me to comment below, we'll be checking them out. Now, coming in first place, and this is not a joke, is going to be Rune Kanshu. This is bloodline everyone has been sleeping on, and it's not because of the abilities. I mean, like, the abilities are usable, but they're honestly pretty terrible. Like, the first move has too much end lag attached to it. The second move has a tiny gap where they can actually get out during it. But, it, you know, if that gap was fixed, it would be a really good move. And then, obviously, guys, you have the third move of Rune Kanshu, which is a counter ability. Uh, it doesn't hit half the time. It glitches out a lot, especially if they're off the ground. It tends to glitch a lot more often. But when it works, it's absolutely amazing. So, hopefully, you know, the second move and third move gets fixed with Rune Kanshu. If that happens, it will probably be good and not just on these bloodlines in general. Now, for the actual mode, which is the main reason why it's going to be here, the mode does tons of damage in general. It also drains Chi from people buffed m1s it has a big delayed damage attack lots of abilities that stall out fights in general it's honestly just a really really good mode there's not really much else to say about rune kachu uh it's just for the first place on this list just because it has the single best mode on the list if i think shindai ren is in contention for first place but i do think rune kachu's abilities beat Re uh, shindai ren's abilities very slightly but it's only when rune kachu's abilities work and not after so hopefully you know those gaps get fixed have you ever hit the like button on this video yet if you haven't done that you should do that now 